This series is such bullshit. If you keep giving me more hate comments, your asses will be grounded until Mason gets terminated. Piss off! Well, let me tell y'all guys something, that track like a virgin, is all about a girl, who digs a guy, with a big dick. Are you for real? Yeah, it's a metaphor for big dicks. I wonder if you think of that. Well it's not, it's about a girl who is very vulnerable, and she's been fucked over a few times then she meets some guy who's really sensitive. Whoa, whoa, time out DW, tell that bullshit to the tourists. Toby, who the fuck is Toby? It's not about a nice girl who meets a sensitive boy now granted that's what True Blue is about. Uh-huh, which one is True Blue? You don't remember True Blue? That was a big shitty hit out of Madonna as a matter of fact I don't follow this tops and pops shit in general. Look jackass I didn't say I ain't heard of it, all I asked was how does it go? Oh fuck, Toby's that little Chinese girl. What's that? I found this old address book in a jacket I ain't worn in a fag's age. I'll tell you what like a virgin is about it's about some coos who's a regular fuck machine. I mean all the time morning day night afternoon. Dick 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 dick. How many dicks was that? A lot. <laughs> Wong? Fuck you wrong I'm right. What the fuck you know about it anyway? You were still listening to Jerry fucking Vale when you should listen to dying fetus. Not wrong dumbass Wong. You know, like the Chinese name. Give me this fucking thing. Fuck you think you're doing give me my book back. I'm sick of fucking hearing it Wiley I'll give it back when we leave. What do you mean when we leave? Give it back now. For the past 15 minutes now you've just been droning on with names. Toby, 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 Toby Wong, Toby Wong, Toby Chung, fucking Charlie Chan. Anyone need more coffee? No thanks we're going to hit the road I'll take care of the check. Go ahead and pay at the register. I'll take care of this you guys leave a tip, and Abby when I come back I want my book back. Sorry it's my book now. Connor, shoot this piece of shit will you? I swear, those goddamn amateurs. I understand this frustration but they're gonna get themselves together somehow. <laughs> How funny. I know right. After all that. Pencil Neck and his red teeth posse got out of the IHOP restaurant and began to steal the jewelry from some diamond store. However, the red teeth heist did not go too well because two of the red teeth buffoons, but not Pencil Neck or DW, pulled the alarm off, and two out of eight troops are severely injured. Let's see how this goes. God damn it! I can't believe she fucking killed us. Who would have fucking thought of this? All this blood is scaring the shit out of me. We're gonna die. We're gonna fucking die and we know it. Oh excuse me, we didn't realize you had a degree in medicine. Are you two doctors or nurses or something? Please answer us. No! No we're not. I don't know how much longer we can deal with such pain. Ah, oh, so you admit that you two don't know what you're talking about. So if you two are through giving us your amateur opinions then lie back and listen to the news. We're taking you two back to the rendezvous. Wiley's gonna get you two a doctor. You're gonna be okay, say the goddamn words. Oh, 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 we're going to be okay. Oh, 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 I hope this procedure goes well and we're going to be okay. Eventually, Pencil Neck and DW the Teeth Girl made it back to the rendezvous point and took Connor and Abby back inside with them. Let's see what happens. Look, Abby and I don't wanna be flies in the ointment, I don't give a fuck about jail I just want to die. You're not gonna fucking die Connor and Abby alright? We weren't born yesterday, we're hurt like little bitches. Well we can't take you to the hospital during this bad situation that we're in. Fuck jail man. Fuck jail man! I don't give a shit about jail, but I can't die, you don't have to take us in. Was that a fucking setup or what? Oh fuck, Connor and Abby got tagged. Gunshot. Oh that's just fucking great, where's Dr. Eggman? Dead. God damn it, how did he die? How the fuck do you think? The cops shit him. Oh this is bad. This is so bad. Is it bad? Well, as opposed to good. Great. Now what are we gonna do? To get out of this situation alive, Pencil Neck and his goons will be forced to read hate comments. Warning, 
Repetitive comments will be left out or compromised. Oh fuck you, Jasonville. Shit! Now you're making this situation a whole lot harder. Deal with it, you red teeth bitch. If we die, then you're grounded. Kotka the Sonic Fanatic Estate 2002 says, New season, same beginning, but apple piss bottle and strawberry shit balloon devil and your goddamn henchman, it's been very long since we have met each other, but now that everything's set up, let's get started. We just heard that there was a diamond heist at this Jared's Diamond Store. What has gotten to broke people these days? Sonic Tails and Knuckles wanna run over you with their supersonic speed powers, and then Carol Shelby will run you over with one of the cars used in the Le Mans race. Can't you think of anything else useful than running over, uh... I can still stop you you sorry little... Strawberry shit balloon devil and chili berry piss shit dickhead. Criminal quest again. A murder has happened at Jared's Diamond Store at Fort Worth, Texas. I dare you to catch him or you're fucked. Oh don't worry, we're getting started on this situation. Ain't that right Abby? Somebody get me doctor before I fucking die. Xenon Striker 2 says, Pencil Neck I challenge you to try to complete the Mortal Kombat Trilogy Champion Ladder while playing on hard difficulty. Are you fucking stupid gay station? The round just started and I'm already done for. Fuck this game I quit. Take this bitch. You're grounded. Elite Brawler says, I'll be asking for questions when the next episode of Ask Mason Villas comes out. Season 3 premiere of Ask Mason Villas starts Friday, October 7th at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Astarian Coda says, Yay. No, no yay because you put us in a very bad situation, you're grounded. New Yorker Safe says, Well Boris, since you were disqualified from the swearing contest, I have no other choice but to whip your butt with a belt after I say yo ass is mine. Your ass is mine you little shit. Oh hell no you little queer. At A1 Class HP says, Make one chaos and soap McTavish and Simon Ghost Riley will get your arse. Good luck with that. Don't worry Andre, those red teeth terrorists are going to get it. That's right, they can take away our diamonds. But they won't get away with this for long. Okay, let's go through what happened when Violi succeed. We're in the place. Everything's going fine. Then the alarm gets tripped. I turned around and all these cops are outside. You even told Violi to get the diamonds and get rid of the pigs off your tail? Yup. It was like, bam. Violi blink her eyes are there there. Everybody starts going ape shit. Okay, how did she get out? Xenon Striker 2 once again says, I dare you to call Jax the N-word and see what happens. Where do you think you're going hippo face? Away from you as far as possible. Time for another fatality mother. You'll never take me alive you little queers. Get the fuck out of my way. Ouch! God damn it hippo face. What the fuck is your problem? Oh my god. Get out gay Chloe. Get the fuck out of the car. I'm calling the cops, you sorry. Hippo face is here, don't let her get away. Stop what you're doing at once, hippo cunt. There's no escape from the long dick of the law. Officer down. Oh crud, Chloe has one of the most hideous designs I have ever seen. Cats are disgusting and Chloe is grounded definitely. Pencil neck, pencil neck, does whatever teeth clown does. Grounds Caillou, for dumb reasons. In the end, he's an ass. Let's laugh, at Pencil Neck. That's the worst song I've ever fucking heard. Not even Boris would bother take a look at it. And plus I faked my death until the cops went away. Yeah, your music sucks right Connor and Abby. Whatever you say but for God's sake we're losing blood. I'm so losing balance from the loss of blood. Artid the Ultra Flarian says, Hey Pencil Neck, I'm back. Yeah that's right. I'm back to talk stuff about Hippo Face's stinky feet as well as DW the Teeth Girls too. Oh, and DW the Teeth Girls new name is Strawberry Shithead. If you dare talk shit about DW the Teeth Girl, you better not. Because it's already bad enough that you took away Rosie from my team retard. Ah! Oh. 
You fucking bastard, you're definitely grounded until your reverse clone comes to Fort Worth. Hello, ketchup bottle. Do you miss me? Because I miss tasting you. And speaking of that, I'm gonna take you along with two friends or mine. No chance in hell that I fucking miss you, bitch hood. You and your friends are nothing to me. Just to let you know also, that if you call the angry old head the n-word, he will beat the shit out of you. Oh yeah, well, this story ain't shit and he sure as hell ain't gonna be shit, neither does Kevin McCarrenson or his two ugly daughters who should have been disowned completely. Okay, even Karen got pissed that you said horrible things to his two daughters Kelly and Katie. So they're going to give you a beating. Oh, I'm so scared. Nonsense. Everything you say to me is filled with nothing. Pencil neck always do the same old same old. Shall we start striking his ass? Not now angry grandparents. Let him go and wait until he strikes first. <coughs> Sin, I just had enough of this situation. I'm out of here. You go do what you want. I'm going to check into a hotel in a few days. Connor and Abby are dead. Nope, they're just passed out. Oh, thank evil Satan, because I thought that they're dead for sure. They will be dead for sure if we don't get them to the hospital. We can't take them to the hospital, DW. Without medical attention, those cubic starts won't live all the night. Those bullets in their bellies are our faults. You got an idea, then spit it out. Hoppus Rapus episode archiver says, Trains should ram your arms and have prunes in your mouth. Oh, you dare to make this happen. In their dreams, losers. Andrew Griner says, Wait! That's me at 1037 beating up Dabedia. Wow! I never expected you to create a character of me. Thank you so much, Mason, and thanks for getting rid of my mustache. Fuck you very much for getting Andrew to kick my ass like a dick. Shut up, Dabedia. Sarah's Wonderful Girl 2019 says, Hey, Pencil Neck, guess who's here? Who is it? Your mom? No, it's Microsoft Zara. Now we're gonna taste you. God. <laughs> Kevin McCarrenson says, Pencil Neck, you will get beaten up by my two daughters, Kelly and Katie. You have some nerve to help Pencil Neck by ruining my family. Let's beat him up, Kelly. You grounded for betraying your own mother, bitches. Terry Falcon says, Hey, Pencil Neck, intercept attack. Oh, never mind, you looks officially ran out. Thanks, Terry Falcon. Oh, no, not this. You doomed us all. Well, Kevin knows about me. You didn't tell him your name, did you? I told him my first name, and where I'm from. Why? I told him where I was from a few days ago, it was just a casual conversation. And what was telling that stupid ass Kevin McCarrenson your name when you're not allowed to? What the fuck was I supposed to do? Am I supposed to say that I'm sorry? I can't give out that information, it's against the rules, maybe I should but I couldn't. Oh, I don't doubt that was quite beautiful. Don't fucking patronize me. We couldn't take Connor or Abby to the hospital, he'll die. You just don't know how to care much about the main course to you. You wanna fuck with me? I'll show you who you're fucking with. You think you can shoot me pencil neck? You don't have the balls to do so. Fuck you, Strawberry Shithead. You're acting like a first year fucking thief. I'm acting like a professional. You don't even know what to think if you're on the same page or you're just plain selfish. None of this shit would have happened if some rat would mind their own businesses. But no, someone pulled the alarm and got us into this mess right there. Eggman? You two peeps shouldn't be playing so rough. Somebody's gonna start crying. Wally Warner says, Ketchup bottle, you will get zapped by Scotty, Lucy, and Oliver Hood. There you are, you freaking criminal. You good for nothing, foul beast. This is for convincing Terry Falcon to make you beat up the McCarrenson sisters, M. Fuck you guys, you're all grounded. The Fugitive Television says, Hey, ketchup bottle, you will get beaten up by me and Terry Falcon. You dead red teeth Satanist. Wait! Those aren't them. Damn right, we're not. 
Avi and I are going undercover too, but down those red teeth terrorists. Yeah guys, we just came out of the Quebec world or bubble town as they say. Oh, right, well we're looking for those bozos as well. Good luck with your undercover mission. Lord Red Zero Three says, hey ketchup pervert, if you look to kill me you'll be detained. Stay the fuck out of our sights then if you don't want us to kick your ass. Mason's True Power 2017 says, Petal Neck you will get tased by Ben and Taylor. Oh son of a fucking bitch. That'll teach Hippo Face not to screw with us. No matter what we say, they will always come back to harass us. Brandon's Beautiful Boy 2010 says, Petal Neck I'm pushing you into the lake, and you will be attacked by the leopards. Take the two races, bigot. If I'm pushed over the ocean then why are the cheetahs so much pussies you dumb? The White Tiger Man 1994 says, Ketchup bottle you will be scratched by my White Tiger powers. Hell no White Tiger Fag 666, you're grounded. Oh that's it. This place just ain't secure anymore, we're leaving and you should go with us. Nobody going anywhere. Piss on those cubix turds, we're out of here. Don't take another step, strawberry shit head. Fuck you, maniac. It's your fucking fault that we're in this trouble. What's this bitch's problem? What's my problem? Yeah, I got a big problem. I got a big fucking problem when any trigger happy madman who almost gets me shot. Fuck you talking about? That fucking shooting spree. You almost killed me. Asshole. If you had any idea what fucking type of guy you were, I would never agree to work with your robotnik ass. Are you gonna bark all day, little doggy, or are you gonna bite? What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Would you repeat it? I said, Are you gonna bite, little doggy? Or, Are you gonna bite? You're so dead ass cheeks, man. Bring it on, fuck face. Okay, look you assholes, calm the fuck down. Hey, come on. Break it up? What are we in the playground here, huh? Am I the only professional? Fucking guys act like a bunch of fucking <laughs> man you work with, huh? Just like you two, always stand that you're gonna kill each other. Medici Miyui says, Pencil Neck you will get tased by D. Mixolydian and the Fugitive Television. Stay away from us, you criminal. Enough is enough, you fool. I'll get you two back, bitches. Mike the Mountain Rap says, Pencil Neck you will get jump scared by Slenderman. Oh yeah right, like Slenderman is just as scary as Baldi. Fuck him. Oh fuck no I just shit my pants. Michael's Extra Video Guy 2011 says, Pencil Neck you will get a concussion by Adam. What the hell do you want fag? Thunder strike you creep. Alright James, we got a major situation here. What's the problem, Jesse? Shut up, Pip and Kotka. South Park is a piece of shit show and you know it. Oh, I never seen such refusal. Let's kick his ass, Pip. Boris the Teeth Guy has contacted us that the diamond heist has gone wrong because some fart knocker pulled the alarm system. That's fucked up, I can't believe that someone did that. Attention all faggots. Y'all better sign the petition that we will ground Galu and send him to hell where he rot there for life. Oh hell no you didn't just threaten Caillou. Critical beatdown coming your way with lasers. All I know is what Boris told me someone turned it into a fucking bullet festival, took the cops hostages and get the fuck out of here. Are you sure you're not joking over this? If you all little tattletales snitch on me for another shit that we're going to, you're grounded. Are you thinking about committing a robbery? What do you think, Boris Gay? Say that to my baseball bat. Do I sound like I'm fucking joking? Eggman even fucking driving around with the cop in his trunk. And what matters worse is that the two characters from the Cubix robots for every fucking one show are severely injured. So you're going to hunt down Mega Man, are you? Concussion time for an attempted beating. Not anymore, you two won't. You're grounded. I can't believe you killed Dan and Andrew. So? Hulk smash you sorry peasant. Did he even told you more information? 
I don't know as of yet. I don't know who's got to lose. I don't know if anybody's got to lose. I don't know who's dead. I don't know who's alive. I don't know who's caught. I don't know who's not. Solar blaster you sorry little shits. Hyper ray burst sorry asses. Don't kill me idiots. You two moron be grounded. So you will know what else? Yeah I will know. So we're practically no. So that's what Boris contacted you about. Okay we're now on the same page that's good. Hello I am Connor, and right here next to me is Abby. We are from the KBS Korean broadcast and the US broadcast from Kids WB that is Cubics Robots for Everyone. If you want to know why we're working with the Red Teeth Minions? We just moved out of Bubble Town and went to Fort Worth, Texas to get a hold of those Red Teeth bigots and bust them down. If you also want to know who pulled the alarm. Stay tuned for part 2 of this Red Teeth heist for the conclusion. Yup, and enjoy the rest of the few comments that Mason has decided to pick and compromise some of them. Yup. And happy 30th anniversary to Quentin Tarantino's very first film that is Reservoir Dogs. Sancho Miyui says, you will get punched, kicked, and burned. What do you want, Mega Bitch? Charge shot, Psycho. Kicked in the balls with plot again logic. Burn pencil neck burn. The Fugitive Television says, Hey Ketchup Bottle, you will get slapped by Gerald and Baldi. Your ass is grass. No escape your food. I hope you two get kidnapped once again. Max's Magic World says, Pencil Neck you will be getting scratched by Dariman and Super Picaco. You two are ugly cat losers. Oh hell no you didn't. You were gonna let him do that to me. Shut the fuck up bitch. Ice Natalie 2014 says, Pencil Neck how dare you hate the Spy Ninjas, that's if Scott Pilgrim is going to beat you up. <laughs> Are you stupid? Scott Pilgrim left Fort Worth last month, and you're shit out of luck. You fool. What do you want Jotaro? I saw you killed Scott Pilgrim. So? So you're dead. Alan's Action World says, Pencil neck you will get blasted by Cedric and John. Here's another daily dose of solar ray burst. Die pest. You two won't get away dickheads. Torque and Rikotoon says, Buck cheeks man you will be forced to watch Sonic Underground. Gotta uh, turn off the damn Sonic Underground show you good for nothing morons. Kyle's awesome guy says, Pencil neck. Dylan McCarthy is going to break your hand. Haha, <laughs> you deserved it. Franklin the Furious Fireman says, Pencil Neck you will be forced to watch Power Rangers Zeo. Gaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa